Hello, my little darklings. Welcome again to my channel, Offbeat Vegan Beauty and Life. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Pig Mirror from Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, and the Pig Lip Bundle and the Tracksuit. I got these in the mail yesterday. I'm so excited I got them. I have another mirror on the way. It's really high quality. It comes in the packaging here, just like the other Jeffree Star mirrors. It's got this cool logos all of both logos on here and it's not hollow like the controversy palette but it looks really cool and it's the black protective sponge inside i really like the quality here it's really awesome it's huge this is so huge the mirror and it has like dark gray with the black it's really high quality just like all those other mirrors and I'm going to be using that today to create a look with the Conspiracy palette. I'm going to be using the Cheese Dust and my rides here. I'm going to be creating orange and black because I'm going to be wearing orange and black tonight. And the lip bundle is really high quality. This fake vegan, this fake leather that's vegan. And it's really soft. It looks really, really good quality here. And when I got it, everything was all like falling out of the lips, I guess, like the packaging and shipping, transit. I put everything back. Looks great. I was not a fan of, oh my God, it was like way too pink, too bright. It looked really weird on my skin tone. I'm going to be swatching these now. I already did. Are you filming? And... Jeffrey, what the fuck? And oh my God, so I'll swatch the other three. <laughs> so here's Rylan. It's a really pretty pink, shimmery, iridescent color. I really like this one. It doesn't look like it's too bright and overpowering. It's really pretty here. Try one more swatch here. It's a little bit clumpy, but I think it's just needs to be shaken up. It's kind of sheer. It's really pretty. And I'm gonna be swatching I Gotta Go. It's a gold coppery color. That one's really pretty too. They all smell like root beer. It's really good. It's nice. And the last one is Shane. This one's really popular. Like they just mixed a bunch together for this one. He already had this one. Jeffrey already had this one in his samples. It's kind of a weird color, like silvery gray color does kind of look like Shane, like kind of masculine. So these are the colors. They look pretty good. I don't know. It's going to, I've never used these type of colors before, like the dark grayish coppery. It's even hard to like describe what kind of color this is. Like grayish silver coppery color has like a little bit of like yellow copper undertones and let's try it, see how it looks. <laughs> So those are the swatches. I'm going to start with the eye look now. Next, I'm going to be cutting my crease with the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to be putting the cheese dust shade on top. It has an orange, like really stand out. I love this mirror. It's so huge compared to his star mirrors. It's a lot bigger. <laughs> So I'm just adding the concealer here up to my crease. I'm just doing like two thirds of the eye because I'm going to add black here and blend it.
I very rarely do the cut crease, but I wanted to have a have a try at it today. It's a little bit of a challenge, but it's kind of fun to do once in a while. I still have more from the conspiracy collection still coming with the double zipper and another mirror on the way and there was just the relaunch of the Shane Dawson merch. I didn't get the green hoodie. It sold out while it was still in my cart, but I got the other ones and excited about those. <laughs> I like the controversy when it looks like a Ouija board and it's really cool. I got that in the hoodie and the t-shirt. So I'm going to industrial night tonight, industrial classic, um, like 80s industrial night tonight at the club. And I'm gonna be wearing a Nitzarep shirt. It's orange and black. So I thought I'd do orange and black eye look here. And I'm gonna put lipstick on, like weirdo and pumpkin pie in the center. Okay, I think that looks good. Cut crease. <laughs> so now I'm going to get another packer brush and stick a flat packer one and start packing on cheese dust over here. We'll see how this does as a cut crease with the with the concealer here. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to be building it up a little bit here. It's not going on that well here. Uh, you really have to pack it on <laughs> to get the payoff here. starting to build up and show the orange pretty well. I want the orange to really stand out here. It's taking a little bit of work. <laughs> okay, I think I'm happy with this eye. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the process and do the other eye. I'll see you in a second. Okay, got the orange on the other eye here. It took a few minutes, a little bit of building up, but it wasn't too bad. It didn't take too long. Now I'm gonna be using another packer brush from Ulta. I'm gonna be putting in the corner here. My rides here is black. also a Halloween look, like Halloween's every day. <laughs> this is really pigmented. It really applies really dark and not too much having to build up. Tapping off the excess. I'm going to be adding some to the lower lash too. And we're going to blend it out with a fluffy brush here. It's 
kind of coming up when I try to blend it out here. Okay, and it's got in the middle here and I have to add some more the orange. Oh, that's not too bad. It's an easy fix. <laughs> I think maybe a smaller brush to blend it with. Let's try that. That's working better. It's going to be a little bit a stripe here. It's a little bit blended better. When in doubt, use your finger. <laughs> okay, I think that's pretty good there. Do the other eye now, blending it out. I'm going to add some more orange here. It's kind of patchy, like trying to blend them together here. I think it's okay. They look pretty even here. Add a little bit of orange. Okay. <laughs> Work this out a bit. Smooth it out. Okay, I'm going to dust some of the excess off and do the lower part of my eye. I'm going to get another angle brush here for the orange. And the inner part of the lower. This is a really good pigment and it was really easy to brush it off with the bake on top of it. It all brushed right off all that black fallout. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy with it. I'm going to clean this up a little bit up here. Okay, next I'm going to get a fluffy brush and do the highlight of the brow bone. I'm going to be using in the mini controversy palette the My Boyfriend's Purse shade. It's a really good highlighter shade. You can see it a little bit, it's kind of subtle. <laughs> Gonna add some more black. I'm not really happy with how these how this 
transition is here. It's looking pretty good. I like it. <laughs> I'm going to add my eyebrows, my eyeliner, the waterline, mascara, contour, highlighter, everything, and I will be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back with the final look. I added some lines with my eyeliner, got the lipstick on, weirdo, and pumpkin pie. The little line matches my shirt here, knits are red, and I've got a hoodie here from Black Craft Cult. It says... Sinner, it says Sinner here, and it has like these holy Bibles on flames, so that's some more orange here. And so my final thoughts, I really like the quality of this lip bundle. The swatched really well here. They don't really stay, see this one's falling out again, but once you put it in place, like it'd be a good display. I really like the packaging for this bundle. The quality of the mirror is awesome. It's huge. I really like this mirror. It's really great for applying makeup. And I like the tracksuit. I took it off because I got ready here. And I'm going to announce the winner now. The drum roll. The winner of the little mini controversy palette is Courtney Haynes. Yay! Here's the random picker that I did right here and your name and I'll link it below too and all the info. I'll put all the info of all the products I used. I put like hair gel in it and have hairspray I was going to do a mohawk but I'm like eh, it looks kind of like a shark. Go fin. Got rings and I've got Giger leggings on here. You can kind of see them. Look like biomechanical and so that's my look and I hope everyone has an amazing weekend and congratulations Courtney Haynes um, message me on Instagram for your address I will ship this out to you on Monday hope everyone has an amazing weekend and I'll see you on the next one bye love ya bye my little darklings <laughs>